Uh, Ross Olney here from KADY TV. And we're at the home, the beautiful home, I must say, of Congressman Elton Gallagher, who's here with me right now. Congressman, we got all kinds of uh, activity going around here. Maybe you could explain it. All. Well, as you know, Ross, we've been doing uh, a little program out at the base for several years, and uh, uh, it's like uh, one of my favorite times of the year, and and uh, it, it kind of gets your mind away from some of the stuff we're dealing with uh, in Washington every day, at least for a few minutes, which is not a, touch on that is not a, no, I, I just, uh, I, uh, let me uh, enjoy the moment, will you? And we'll you're, talk. Not, you're not going to answer the big question then, right? Well, there's, uh, there's always lots of big questions, but today we're going to be talking about <laughs> the kids, that's what this is all about. All right. And, uh, uh, as you know, we've been doing this for several years, and each year it gets a little bigger and hopefully a little better. Uh, to, to say thank you to the children and the spouses that are left behind when they have husbands or wives in some cases that have been deployed. Yes, true. And this is all for uh, the children of active uh, military or activated reserve that are based at Naval Base Ventura County. It and that, of course, includes the Air Guard as well as all the sailors. Now, this uh, this looks very well organized here. You you thought it might look chaotic, but it looks very well organized. <laughs> all of this then, what is it? Next Sunday, we'll go out to the base. Right. It'll uh, be shipped actual... out. We'll we'll have the Navy will pick all this up here mm -hmm. later in the week, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll also be picking up between four and five hundred bicycles that are off-site that are being finally uh, the final stages are being all put together and they will be delivered to uh, a hangar at Magoo and on Sunday we'll have our big annual uh, program to giving the toys away and then two weeks later we'll be participating in the food uh, with Miss Tilly who really runs that like a drill sergeant. <laughs> Children are going to be very happy well, because of this. W that's, that's the object and to make sure that they understand that while their mother or father can't be replaced at Christmas, they know that a lot of people care about them. And this isn't a one-man show around here. This is a, a, a real team effort, and uh, it's something I've... Well, really it is a one-man show, well. Congressman. I mean, you're, you're the guy who started it. You're the guy that's doing it. And, uh, and I, you, you're the guy that should get the credit Well, I, for. I feel kind of like a, uh, a uh, ringmaster this morning with <laughs> trying to get all of it together. You know, we have uh, uh, almost 800 packages here, and, and uh, we have them divided up by age and by gender. Well, you, you explained that a little earlier. Could you explain it to, to our audience? Uh, because it is very scientific, the way you have this. Well, uh, the, uh, in other words, uh, little simply, kids don't get big kids Simply stuff. put, we want to make sure that an 11-year-old doesn't get a rubber duck and a six-month-old get a skateboard. And uh, we do it uh, uh, ages infant to two, uh, two to four, five to seven, and eight and older. Oh, boy. And we do wow. it by gender as well. The, uh, the uh, red bags are the boys, uh, I'm sorry, the red bags are the girls, the green bags are the boys, and there's a different ribbon on the there ribbons. that That's designates right. the, uh, the age. The age group. Right. That's absolutely, I can't And then when we it. set them up at the, uh, at the, uh, at the, uh, the base will have them set up by category and it'll say uh, uh, boys five through seven or girls eight and older and there'll be one area so when they come up how old are you seven nine and you just walk over and immediately know which bag to get. Now the children just what they just line up or something? We have them there? lined up because you know with seven or eight hundred kids you can't just uh, <laughs> I, can imagine. I mean uh, uh, it really has developed into uh, uh, kind of a neat program that every year you kind of fine-tune a little bit but at the end of the day it's always worked out wonderfully uh, and uh, we have Santa that comes in on the C-130, and of course, you know... Oh, now, tell, tell me about that. He comes in nonstop from North Pole, mm -hmm. and uh, they swing by, and he gets credit for all of these toys, which <laughs> is, well, he should, because without Santa, we wouldn't have these toys. Uh, oh, I, And right. so, uh, uh, he personally meets with the little ones, and the older ones, uh, because, you know, there's only so much time. When we get into the bikes, uh, everybody that picks up one of these gets a little ticket. And then we have eight or ten different size bikes and boys and girls bikes. A little basket there, put a ticket in there, and uh, they, we draw out the names. And we give out eight bicycles a minute. Now you and think about how it. many total there was. What, the, the, 500 almost five hundred. Yeah. My, my, and of my. course we have the quads over here for the younger kids. A little electric. Uh, uh, we have also a garage next door full of another fifty of them. So uh, we want to make sure everyone is is. Uh, 
uh, r remembered and know that uh, a lot of people care about them. The, uh, a lot of these children, of course, as you point out, uh, their their fothers may be in in Afghanistan, or, or they still could be oh, some or in mother. Iraq, or, 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 or they or could be, or they uh, or the mother as well, and they could be uh, in, in any number of places around the world, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, uh, we can't replace them. All we can do is is try to let them know that the community cares about them. I think that's a wonderful way to do it. Too. And it's worked out every year. And, and, and what's really great is uh, uh, I, I was going to do a different program this year with uh, there's a, uh, a woman in this uh, city, wonderful woman, uh, pa Paula Cornell, who does uh, for the troops. This is where she sends packages to the troops. And uh, uh, I, I'm going to do a, 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 a uh, fundraiser for her after the first year. I'd hope to do it here this before Christmas, but with the schedule and making this program a success, mm -hmm. we didn't want it to compromise with that. But Paula does a great job uh, with For the Troops, where she sends packages to them, and it costs 40, 50 bucks a piece just for the postage and mailing them. So that's one of the things we do to help, or we're going to do to help her raise some that's money a, that's, for that. That's, that's wonderful. Also, before we uh, finish, we see a lot of activity behind okay. us. Now, who are all these people? Well, some there? are my grandchildren. <laughs> I have my uh, son here and daughter-in-law and uh, uh, Brian Miller, who works in my office. Oh. Uh, uh, he's back blowing up basketballs, I think, right now. <laughs> and his uh, two of his daughters are here and his wife. And uh, I have Myrna in my office here, and she has some friends. So uh, it's uh, it's been a collaborative effort. And this all ends up then next Sunday out uh, at the base? On the 4th at uh, between uh, 1230 and 4 o'clock. We should be able, it takes about an hour and a half to do all the toys and about two hours to do the bicycles. And you will be there in person? Uh, good Lord willing. Uh, well, that's what I meant. Uh, so. I, I uh, uh, hopefully will fly in Friday night, if not Saturday, and then go back to Washington on Monday. A lot, so. of, us, a lot of us would also agree with so, that. And, uh, while I love the work there, uh, the, uh, living in Washington, I'm not an urban guy. Uh, uh, I, I still have felt uh, when I'm at, at the Capitol, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's an incredible uh, opportunity and uh, I've never lost any of that level of enthusiasm. When you never drive up the mall money. at night and you see the, the Capitol Dome, you, you know, oh my you have to pinch my yourself. Goodness. Anyway, it's a well, great... Well, you haven't lost many elections either. Well, uh, I'm I actually right now, I'm 29 and 1, uh, which I'm very proud of. And 1 was the first one I was in when I ran for uh, Commissioner Noontime Broadcast in the 10th grade. And uh, uh, I learned a valuable lesson then. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, you don't want to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Congressman Elton Gallagher, thank Ross. you so much thank for you. talking to us. <laughs> Ross Olney, KADY TV. Okay. Ross Olney here with KADY TV. I'm with uh, Janice, who is the wife of Congressman Elton Gallagher, and you're deeply involved in all the pandemonium that's going on around oh, here. Oh, it's crazy, yes. <laughs> it's, it looks like a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of happy children. I sure hope so. Oh, there will be. You know, I sure hope will. so. Uh, uh, the congressman was explaining to us, uh, this is kind of, has become kind of a scientific thing where even the little children get something different than the medium-sized children and so forth. Very much so, yes. We take our grandchildren out and let them kind of tell us what age oh, group right. would like what toy. and. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah, you get it right from the peer people themselves. <laughs> we do, we well, do. That's nice. And, and you are, uh, obviously you as the wife of the congressman are very much involved in this, along with a lot of other people here. Who are all oh. these other people? Well, a lot of the staff and family and friends. So we've got some of our family here, our grandchildren and friends, and then some of Dalton's official staff is here and, mm -hmm. and volunteers, campaign staff. So, Do you like this? Oh, I love it. I bet you do, because <laughs> you've been Christmas. smiling ever since we got here. So, <laughs> Except for chasing my dog around. <laughs> oh, well, I saw your dog running around. He looks happy, too. Or she. Yeah, very exciting. He. Yeah, he. Okay. And he, and he, and he looks like he's, looks like he's he used to this. I mean, he's not biting anybody or growling no. at anybody. <laughs> yeah, he's used to it. So. Now, this will go on uh, the rest of today, I guess. When will all of this stuff be picked up and taken out to the base? Thursday or Friday, it'll go to the base, and then the bicycle, and then the big event is Sunday, so. I don't like to throw, but what if it rains? 
It rained last year on us. I mean here and now. We got all this stuff outside. Oh, here. we'll get it in fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it doesn't look like it's going to rain now. Janice, it's we still have candy to put in, and then we'll bring it in. It's so good to talk to you. Well, thank you. And, it's good uh, to and, talk uh, to you. We all thank you, and the children especially thank you. Well, I'm, it's our pleasure, believe me. We get more out of it than anybody else. So It seems like everybody here is thoroughly enjoying themselves. Mm -hmm. They good. are. They're having a good time. That's great. And, and, and good luck in the future. I tried to get out of the congressman what's coming up in the future, and he expounded to some extent. But uh, Well, I'm waiting, too. <laughs> I'll support him as long as he wants to be there. So. That's good to hear because a lot of people want him to be there. I know. Thank you so much, Dennis. Okay, absolutely. Thank you. Ross Olney, KADY-TV.